can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. I'd actually like to invite the children of our congregation that are interested in witnessing this baptism up close. Feel free to come on the floor here because we'd like to talk with you and show you a little bit more about what we're doing. And at the same time, I want to invite my good friends, the Youngs, and their family forward. As people are gathering, I want to disclose a little bit about me and my nerddom. I worked in the Denver Seminary bookstore for uh, several years while I was at seminary. During that time, the Lord graciously allowed me to multiply my library by hundreds of books. And at home, I have my library, you know, a modest collection of these books. And one of the things that I've done to keep them organized that I got from a previous pastor I worked with, that some of you would just find atrocious, is uh, I label them with Library of Congress numbers, just like this. It makes me feel so good to know where my books are in my library. And if you want to come see it sometime, I'd be glad to show you. I just, it's great. But in my library, in order to that, uh, I can know whose book this is. You guys can check this out with me. But uh, look at this special stamp that's in the middle of here. Can you read what that says? It's kind of weird. That's all right. It says, from the library of Zach and Abby Hicks. I really wanted to just say Zach Hicks, but my wife wanted to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> this stamp here shows that when I open this book, everyone knows that it's it's my book, that I own this book, that this book belongs to me. I have the stamp right here because I love it so much. This is that stamp. And if I wanted to, I could grab some ink and put a little stamp on each of you, and you guys would say, from the library of Zach and Abby Hicks. <laughs> but do you guys know that just like if I put a stamp on you and put a mark, maybe if I put it on your cheek, that you'd walk around and everybody would know whose library you belong to. Well, do you know that baptism is God's mark to show who you belong to? Baptism is God's way of people knowing, everybody, including yourselves, that you are children of God. When God gives us baptism, it's more than just a symbol. Something mysterious and powerful is going on. And God puts a mark on all of us that shows us that we are God's children. The stamp says, child of God. And I want to encourage us all, whether we're young or whether we're old, we're going to experience times in our lives where we're going to doubt. We're going to have struggles, and those struggles are going to be real. And those times are going to cause us to, to wonder about whether our faith is genuine, whether God's work was sincere. Well, an old guy named Martin Luther told us that one of the ways that you can know that God's work is sincere is by remembering your baptism. Now, some of you were baptized when you were really little. Maybe your parents have videos. Maybe you guys should go home and watch those videos. Or ask your parents about your baptism again. Because it's during those times when your faith is, is really is tested that you can remember you are God's child. You do have that stamp that shows that you are one of His. He owns you in the best of ways. He is watching out for you. You are special. You are set apart. That is what baptism means. And as we witness this baptism together, know that it's not just profound in the sense of what's happening here. It's profound for our community. Because our community commits to loving this child and raising this child in the fear of the Lord. Every time that you see Chloe from now on, you need to remember this moment in time and know that you have a responsibility and that you made vows to this family to, along with them, raise this child in the fear of the Lord. And likewise, all you kids, you are covenant children, dearly loved by God, marked with His special mark that shows that God loves you and that you are very, very special to Him. At this time, we want to engage in a very solemn ceremony of hearing and speaking vows before our congregation. Thank you, Zach. Chloe has a very special name. Chloe means verdant and blooming in Greek. It represents the coming of new life after loss. And Elizabeth means God.
God's promise in Hebrew. So Chloe, Elizabeth is God's promise of new life and a reminder of the new life that God gives us through Christ. I'm going to ask Eric and Katie to answer these questions, and then I'm going to ask some of you some questions as well about their commitment to raise Chloe in the Lord. Eric and Katie, do you acknowledge Chloe's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? Do you claim God's covenant promise and benefits for your child? And by faith, do you look to the Lord Jesus Christ for the salvation of your child as you do with your own? Do you now unreservedly dedicate your child to God? And do you promise by relying on the power of God and the grace of the Holy Spirit to live the life of Christ before her eyes? Do you commit yourself to pray with and for both to teach your child the scriptures and the great truths of our faith in Jesus Christ? And do you promise to use every means provided by God, including your own faithful participation in the life of the church, to bring her up in the loving discipline and care of the Lord? May God bless you as you keep these vows. Let me ask some questions to our congregation, especially the members of Cherry Creek. Do you, the members of this church, assume responsibility with Eric and Katie for the spiritual nurture of Chloe. We do. We do. And you commit yourself to set a godly example before her, to provide as far as you're able all that is necessary to the end that she will one day confess her faith in Christ as Savior and Lord. We do. We do. We do. Let's pray together. Lord, what a privilege to uh, commit this time to you. We ask that you would be here in a special way with these gospel, this gospel sign. Uh, as we apply the water, we remind ourselves of the washing that we all need that Christ gives. And so meet us here and touch her life and open her up to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs>